Thanks, Ariel. Uh, 5.5. Okay, this is adoption of the consultation document for the annual plan, 2017-18, uh, for consultation. Uh, Ariel is joined by Lisa Nian, Communications Manager. Afternoon, Lisa. Hello. Um, my understanding is that you uh, received the latest version of this um, earlier today. Uh, so what we'd like to do is go through that and identify any changes, but also talk about uh, the process following the adoption of uh, this consultation document. Uh, so the consultation will begin on the 1st of May and run until the 26th of May, with hearings set down for the 7th to the 9th of June, uh, and deliberations on the 15th of June. And there obviously will be some minor wording and grammatical changes that will follow this uh, meeting. Uh, but we're also keen to get your feedback now uh, in terms of, of the look and feel of the document and any other changes that you'd like to propose. Okay, thanks, Cyril. You want to go through <coughs> each page by page, Lisa, or um, you want us to? Okay. So the cover? That's the building. <laughs> I'm standing about the, about the fence. <laughs> Okay, page number two. Is everyone happy with what's, what's on there? I suppose this is a question. Councillor Cousins? Could I suggest on page two that we should that you talk about our discussion there about nine Rifle Range Road because you don't, I think maybe that should be made, that's a, just noted that's a separate building, do you think, or is that just being too picky? That is not the building that's in question. Also oh, separating out the separating the back building as not included in this because this talking about people will assume it's all the buildings, but the back building at, at nine Rifle Range Road is not included in this here, is it? No. I'm just thinking for clarity's sake, should we, should we just Yeah, so um, just on that following Gareth's email on Friday, um, it's referred to as the Lake Terrace site all the yeah. way through the document because the public won't differentiate between 72 Lake Terrace and 9 Raf Rifle Range Road, given that our um, physical address is actually 72 Lake Terrace. I'm concerned that if we were to start entering in 9 Rifle Range Road now that there may be some confusion. Lake Terrace site sounds good, but people know it's... Nine Rifle Range Road is certainly included in the value yes, um, I see that. further on in the document. That's just my suggestion. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, is um, everyone happy with it being termed as the Lake Terrace site? Yeah. All right. Um, so any more on page two, Council yeah. Body? Well, probably not on page two or the other page. I just want clarification in regards to the total building. Um, the recent bill was 2011. Um, are we going to the people saying that our preferred one is the site here, plus it's all to be all four? Or are we just saying it's this part of the building, if we stay here, needs doing up to reach all four? What are we actually... Are we, are we asking to build the people that we're going to build a building totally up to that standard so that we move the Civil Defence Headquarters in here or are we going to leave them where they are if we stay here? There seems to be a lot of questions that haven't been in the document. Well, we can buy three, right? three, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Uh, the complete refurbish of the Lake Terrace building it refers to IO2 and also to IL4 status civil defence. So if we went to that option, obviously at some stage we'd make the decision whether it was just two or four. So, sorry, three, Mr. Worship. Um, the the thought process was that if it was um, if it was a complete rebuild, then and you'd naturally go to go to IL4 because yeah. then that's suitable post post disaster recovery. Um, if it was the refurbishment. Um, the advice that the architect gave you was that we could make part of the building IL4, so therefore you wouldn't need the emergency operating centre, which is too small in the in the old prefab, um, but the rest of the building that would be either unachievable or too expensive to um, to make the whole building IL4. Well, Mr. Chairman, through you, I, I did express in our meeting this morning my concerns about the speed this is taking place and uh, if we just went for the 1.2 it gives us some breathing space of a couple of years that may not be satisfactory 
You also um, said this morning that we could um, signal an amendment to the long-term plan. Um, I'm just wondering if you could run the passes again, how that would take place. Uh, an amendment to the long-term plan would take As place? As per your and my conversation with Local Government New Zealand. So if Council was of a mind that you couldn't, that you weren't, um, didn't want to make this decision now, but you wanted to um, some months down the track, then like any decision at any time, you could, um, you could do a long-term plan amendment. Um, that would require uh, full audit, etc., of that document, so it would come with extra costs. Um, I would probably say that if you were doing that, you would simply wait until, because you're doing a long-term plan next year anyway, you'd probably wait until that time. Um, the issue then is that um, you have relocated the staff out of the building for a considerably longer period of time um, between now and when you get an outcome. So why are we not going to, in this long-term plan consultation, signal our intent to amend their long-term plan, I mean the annual plan, to amend the long-term plan? So the decision that you made in the, um, the last pub, um, council, work, council meeting was to put it through this, this annual plan. Uh, thank you for that, but at this stage, uh, no one had had that conversation to state, as you were really pointed out this morning, any time we can amend a long-term plan, now, that's, now we're all aware of that again, why aren't we doing it? So we just maybe this will help provide some clarification. There's only certain circumstances that require an amendment and this part of this process that we're going through at the moment and, and even if we were to do it um, slightly later is, is not an amendment process. So that's why we haven't talked amendment processes with you to this point. Um, okay, Councillor Williamson. You're through the chair. You know, to, to just listen to quite a bit of the you know, discussion as we all have, you know, the debates around about just what is, uh, should be, uh, which should be with the, with the risk of the asbestos, etc., and the time you're moving out. But I'm just trying to be a bit philosophical about the big picture stuff here. You know, and we're talking about a vision, you know, getting on and showing a lead in this community about providing amenities and facilities that you know are fit for purpose. So that I'm just, if I apologise, just look at the big picture stuff. I understand all the implications of and understand the arguments you know, around. Other people you know, have different views, but that's just where I stand, wherever that may be, whether it's here or somewhere else, I think we just need to get on with the, the big picture stuff and just, you know, and just do it. Thank you, Councillor Williamson. All right, uh, back to the document. Um, so, um, <clears throat> perhaps if we go through the uh, document, does the, any, any councillors want to raise any, any particular points on the document that they want changed or altered or amended. Um, Just on page, the cousins. On page uh, five it must be. Whereas by alternative option four, I still believe it needs to be in there. This op it says financial strategy implications, but nowhere does it mention in there about using the funds from the sale of this, this site to build and offset any capital investment. And so I don't understand why it's not under the financial strategy implications. So it should be there. It's a good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so we, we there's a point, first point there, the sale of the Lake Terrace site and funds used towards... Yes, and okay. proceeds used to fund the building. Okay. Um, well, just for Mr Chairman, have any of us sat down and worked out what central government were attempting to do some years ago by making us merge with other councils? What are the implications long term for a building if that happens? Um, through your worship, um, there's certainly nothing on the cards from the local government commission at the moment. They're um, they're working in the wider upper the west coast and doing some investigation work in Auckland. Um, so there's certainly nothing in the the short to medium term. Um, I would say even if if we were unlucky enough to be amalgamated with somebody else in the future, you would still need an administration presence and building in in Topol, um, the size of which. Um, who knows what that impact would be. Um, I guess this is showing confidence to your community that we do intend to still have a presence in Topol. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Cousins? Yeah. Um, on page uh, six, we, we discussed in private earlier on that the indicative um, cost for the lease has, that has to be differentiated because it's not the annual lease, we're talking about a million dollars. Is that right? We're saying it's a million dollars for a first year, but then it's going to drop. 
So we'll make, we'll make that change so it's not a per annum million dollars, Jill Green. Thank you. And I've got to say, on page seven, I really do like the way you've headed it up. Um, Lisa, sorry. Um, have your say. I like the way you've worded that. So thank you for that. So Lisa, you got that got in the lease um, on page six? Yeah, cool. Okay. Good. Councillor Harvey. Just regarding the, um, the one and two I have mentioned for the other comment as to whether it can be a little more um, direct to if somebody has ideas of other sites. I mean, I know it says, do you have any other comments? But I'd like it to be a little more open so it invites ideas. Because I've had lots of people also mention various sites. So it would be nice <coughs> to see it say something a little more. A third one put in there. What, what, what if, if, if it's if it can be done in the in what we've proposed. So you're saying something like if, if, if you prefer site, another site, what what are, is the location and, and what is uh, what is, you know what do you have what thoughts do you have or something just to give them a lead. So we'd like two boxes there, Lisa, Turangi and Munga Kenal. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Councillor Harvey, we did discuss that and we were looking at how lengthy the list mm. could be. Would you be happy if we amended that to do you have um, any other comments or a preferred site yep, in the good. comment yep. section? That yep. would be fine, I think. Yep. So that would be number three. So that would be number three. Or no. just, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you, Councillor Harvey. Councillor Harvey. Just, just very really quickly, one of the things that's been raised with me is car parking. I know it suggests that this has already got a built-in car park. There's nothing in the document that that tends to let what well, tends to lead people to know that we'd be looking at the car parking at the same time, below or above a building. would not so many years ago we were talking about Tinpin Bowling Alley with a park above it? Um, has that been looked at? Or is it part of the options for people to discuss? So, through the Chair, um, if you were looking at one of the other options that's currently car parked, then my suggestion to you at that time would be, and, and we spoke about this at the workshops, would be that you'd need to replace that car parking that you were building on, um, and in fact you'd probably want to add to that pool, like the discussion we were just having before, <coughs> um, both generally for the town centre's growth, um, and also because of the extra um, cars that you'd be putting in from council's activities. So so that would be one of those decisions that you would take if you were looking at one of those alternative sites. Um, we simply don't know at this point um, until you know what your preferred site is, what they could look like and what the mix of uses and activities on those sites could be. So um, so to me that would be one of those things that you would decide in your deliberations. If if it wasn't this site that was your preference, then, then where and what would the mix of uses be on that site? Thank you. Would it be fair to say that this is just the start of what will be a rather long journey that we will be working with our community on? Thank you. Okay. I'm correct there. <laughs> so then I'm sure we will hear from the community quite loud and clear yes. on this particular Happy. subject, yeah. which is great. That's what we're here for. So um, any other... Comments or um, uh, just, just a quick, thank you, Your Worship. Just a question for me, Lisa. You talked about um, May being the period of consultation. Are we in planning holding any public meetings or information so, sessions? Um, what we've got planned to date is these. We've got um, about a thousand copies of these being printed that will be available at our council facilities from next week. We also have um, a couple of pages going in the Total Times. When I sent out the email last week, I asked for feedback on consultation events um, and nobody addressed that. So I was just wondering whether we could get some indication now of whether you would like to have some consultation events and if so, where would you like them to be? Okay. Um, what's, what's worked in the past, what hasn't worked? Um, some of them... Uh, so a lot of people, uh, I think the subject's quite topical, so I'm sure that we have some consultation downtown. Would you like us to come up, some some options, come up with some options? Come up with some I think. Yeah. Because I think you will get the people there. Yeah. I, I yeah. think what we're signalling is an appetite to have those discussions. Yeah. And sure. And I know when we did the LTP, we, you know, you set up a series of meetings in different parts of the community and, and we went to those meetings as well. I think that's probably a good option to look at. Like an information night or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll come up with some options and, and send them out for you. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you very much for the document to deliver. Um, and um, I'm sure you'll... Um, 
make those changes as, as necessary. So perhaps uh, there's a recommendation there on 5.5. We adopt the cons amended consultation document. I was just going to say, with amendments, maybe should be edited. Yes, with amendments. Deemed. <coughs> and um, get that rolling. Do I have a mover, please? Mm -hmm. Moved by Councillor Hackley, <coughs> seconded by Councillor Harvey. Um, those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? Carried.